Jeff, what modern techniques do you have your fathers and grandfathers did not have? It's actually a combination of techniques. You have uh, airborne techniques, which could be photography. You have remote sensing, which is satellite. You have geochemistry, which depends on high-tech geochem nowadays, down to parts per billion of gold that you can measure, and with other elements as well. You have all sorts of exotic geophysics. And the most trustworthy of all is geologic mapping, like the fathers of old had and uh, common sense and common sense in regards to where gold occurs and how it occurs in the earth. And our forefathers had a little bit of library for that, but now we have many, many years of where we can find gold and why and what are the preferred host rocks. And you put them all together, you're a big detective, and you get the, the systems that work best for you, and off you go. What can you see from a satellite? Lineaments typically um, faults in the earth, and a lot of these deposits will be found on faults that are in preferred orientations or intersecting faults because gold likes to go where the rocks are broken typically, where the, the solutions can come up in the earth, and they'll take the path of least resistance. So, from a satellite, if you have a lot of intersecting lineaments that you can interpret, that may be a good in indicator of where the gold might be. Secondly, you can see how the rocks have been altered, where there's iron, where there's other elements, where there's clay, different packages of alteration. And different gold systems give you different alteration packages. So if you marry these two together with the work that you do on the surface, it helps you get to where you want to go. It, it, it helps you to find a drill target. Ultimately, it's the drill that's going to find the gold. How expensive is a drill? Very. I think it's expensive all the time. A five, How deep can you go? Oh, we can go, as Paul mentioned, thousands of feet, but we typically would rather be exploring in the, the narrower realm of maybe 500 to 700 feet, something that you could get to with an open pit mine uh, and exploit at a profit. And but how much would that be, that depth? That depth, it depends on the, the volume of the deposit. If you have a really large deposit, you could make a hole in the ground that is literally thousands of feet deep. If you have a typically restricted small deposit, you can only go to maybe 100 to 200 feet and get that mineral value out at a profit. And, and that's what it's all coming down to, at a profit. You may have gold in the ground, but if you can't extract it at a, at a profit, it's not worth your time. So how much is a drill to 500 feet? Uh, rule of thumb, if it's reverse circulation, which is commonly used in the state of Nevada, and you throw in maybe some drill sites and some rec a little bit of reclamation, it could be anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000 a hole, and that may not even include assays. So it's, it's not a cheap, cheap game. So that's why the geologist wants to make absolutely sure you're on your best target possible with the highest odds of success. What do you want to know before you drill? You want to have the best target that you believe in, and that is supported by, as we discussed, it uh, may be airborne work, geologic mapping, uh, geochemistry, geophysics. You want to have, you have to maximize on what that drill might find. So you need your drill hole placement maximized because it's dollars, dollars and cents, and you may only have five, five to fifteen holes to test a target in an area. So you have to maximize on that. Like anything else, you have to be efficient and make sure you give the property a chance to give up its gold. So you, you want to drill in the best place possible. What makes you hope that you find something that all the many people before hadn't found? Nevada's a big, big state. And there's some huge gold trends. And people are still finding gold out there. Not only the majors, but the juniors. The small people are still finding gold as well. We have some very good properties in Nevada, and we have some where targets are exposed at the surface. They've never been drilled. And it's amazing to be able to say that because the, the state has not been fully tested. Even though there's been 100 years of mineral exploration, um, the odds are still good that you can find gold near surface. What makes you, what, what drives you to do this business? In your, it, you know, it, it's gold fever, it's in your blood. If you're a geologist, you're stuck being a geologist. It's in your blood. And you're looking for that next discovery around the corner all the time. And right now, Lincoln has a great portfolio of properties. And the odds of success are 
are as good as I've seen in major companies at this time. And that's what's so exciting about Lincoln Gold. What is your portfolio? Right now we have five exceptional properties in Nevada. Two of the properties are in a major gold trend called the Eureka Battle Mountain Gold Trend. We have a property to the north, we have a property to the south. Little teeny Lincoln Gold is rubbing elbows with Barrick, Newmont, Placer Dome, all the big players that are in Nevada and worldwide. And it's exciting that we, we have these land positions. We're very, very lucky to have this. We are very close to two, to two new discoveries that were just announced. And we also have three other properties in what is known as the Walker Lane, where we have ore grade gold cropping out of the surface that's never had a drill intercept. It's never been drilled. So uh, what I'm saying is we have a lot of immediate opportunity for discovery with near-term drill-ready targets. And I was exploration manager for uh, Echo Bay Mines and Tinoco Mining, and I've worked all over the world. And for such a little company to have such quality targets, we're right up there with the majors. So, you know, it, it's really exciting. Did you find gold in your life before? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, I've been associated with many gold discoveries. I've had many teams working for me. Multiple gold discoveries in Nevada that were produced in the mines actually produced and put out gold and silver until they were exhausted. Also in Central America as well, and a little bit in South America. So I've, I've been lucky enough to have people working under me and with me to make actual discoveries, literally millions of ounces. Thank you, Mr. Wilson.